Сына Фьюрка с Фрэнзэнгом. Мы с нами с мячом. Вот вы видите, что у нас мяч. О, look at it. Very fortunate. My uh, first time in Germany. So uh, I always look forward to seeing the new talent, seeing the talent that's out in different countries, not only, you know, the state, you know, Japan, England, Australia, Canada, you know, uh, of course, all over the world. So this is my first time in Germany. It's, and so far, so good. You know, I've been really impressed. The, the girls' match was very good. You know, it, it's a shame that you know, the American girls came around so little. You know, one one hundred the way that there's two across the time. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about the show. Can you play to me? Um, I'm not so much about Mick Foley. Um, uh, you know, Mick's truly a hardcore legend. But you know, the, the thing that people get to see Mick in the ring don't get to see the real Mick outside the ring. Mick is just one of the genuine nice guys in our sport, and that you know, if he sees you and you introduce yourself, he'll always remember you. You know, he's one of those guys that just. Remembers people, and you know he makes you feel wanted and stuff like that. So you know he's makes a credit to our sport, and a true legend. Um, tell me about the King Wrestling. Who impressed you most when you were When I was a when I was a kid, Tony Blanchard, uh, Jay Gilbert, Barry Windham, Dusty Rhodes, Tommy Rich. Uh, you know I grew up with all those guys from the '80s, and then those were the guys that you know I had uh, my not only my style after, but the way I conduct my business and everything like that. Tony Blanchard, uh, Dusty Rhodes are the guys that I can call every, every night and say, hey, okay, what should I do here? What should I do here? How should I talk to this guy? How should I talk to that one? So, you know, the major influence is on me. Um, on the start of your round press is heavyweight. How can you change mm -hmm. and how did you move your position down? Uh, yeah, a few years ago, uh, when, I, when I was in ECW and I was making a run for the world heavyweight title, I was about 90 kilos, uh, you, uh, even a little less, uh, about 80, 86, 87 kilos, and I always wanted to get bigger and stuff like that. And then when I started in Japan, uh, Shinya Hashimoto came up to me and said, look, I don't care if it's fat or muscle, you need to be, you know, 105 kilos because just the, the, the strong style and everything like that. So, you know, I put on, uh, you know, right now I'm 112. But I, you know, I put on the weight, put on the weight now, I'm changing it back into, you know, muscle and everything like that because, you know, the reality of pro wrestling is that junior heavyweights don't draw fans the way heavyweights do. So, and it, it, you know, gaining the weight is the best thing I could have done for my career. Okay. And um, and ECW you find um, World Class and Dusty Rhodes. How would you be working with a legend like Dusty? Wow, an honor, you know, going from a kid that used to go to the Philadelphia Civic Center every month and see Dusty Rhodes wrestle to actually being in the ring with them is, you know, it's a dream come true. And you know, he he's not only, you know, a great guy to be in the ring with him, you know, he's become like a second father to me. A guy that, you know, I can count on, a guy that I spent holidays with and his family and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it's a kid's dream come true. Oh. Um, on the um, 10th of January 2000, you beat CW Henry for no one tennis coach for the ECW Henry Challenge. Mm -hmm. And what makes us do that? You won the ECW Henry Challenge. This year absolutely breaks your career. Or was Winder and other Eric I mean, were smaller than the ECW. You, a lot of people would think that the ECW title would mean more. But, you know, not that it didn't mean, it meant a lot because it was the first World Heavyweight Championship that I won. It was just the, the opportunity of a lifetime to win it in front of 5,000 people. But for me, the NWA title meant more because when I was a kid, the first championship I ever saw on TV was the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. I was, you know, I was in awe of it. I said, oh, I want, I want that title. That's, that's what I want. You know, and you know that dream came true. And uh, it was, it was just an amazing, amazing time for me to be in the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Okay, um, seven years of ECW title for only two months, and after that, ECW was history. Yep. What do you think about ECW closing the doors, and what was special about this? You know, what was special about it was the, it wasn't just wrestlers going out there and wrestling, you know, it was, everybody was a family, whether it was the promoters, or the wrestlers, and the fans itself, it was, everybody worked together, and it was, it was an amazing time, and anybody that's gone through ECW can tell you that, 
it was one of the greatest times that you know you could ever have. You know, you're going out there and you're beating the crap out of each other every night. But it was a family. It was you know you rode together. There were times when me and Jack Victory would ride with fans. You know, and it was it was a family. You were a family with not only wrestlers but fans. So that 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 feeling it will never come back. I, I can't see it ever coming back. But you know, the two two years that I was at ECW was some of the greatest times I ever had. Um, tell us something about Japan. Many fans don't even know what's so special about wrestling in Japan. How the audience there and how many fans attend the shows there and which place do you prefer in terms of wrestling, US or Japan? I definitely prefer wrestling in Japan because Japanese wrestling is taken more seriously because it's still sport there. It's, it's not sports entertainment. It's, it's the purest form of product that you're going to get because you're going to get a uh, you're going to get a mix of pro wrestling, mixed martial arts. Shoot fighting, boxing, everything, everything mixes into one. And these guys don't go out there and play fighting, these guys go out there and do it. The, the fans are unbelievable, and they come out in big numbers, big numbers. I mean, our last pay per view that we had, we had a little over 11,000, uh, you know, fully had a full packed house. They go crazy for everything, and it's, you know, I've been over there 37 times in three years, so I plan on uh, retiring there. Um, Sandra, you're not in some matches you play. Hey, we'll we see you back in TNA, so I hope you come back in the future. Yeah. Why not? You know what? It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, I'm 31 years old, you know. I, I make great money in, in Japan, I do the international stuff. Uh, TNA is a, is a downer. You, know, you go there, and there's so many, so many, you know, the expression in America is so many chiefs, it's not enough Indians. You know, everybody thinks they're the boss, everybody wants to, you know, they're, all, they're looking to become the next WWE instead of becoming the first TNA, and it's 